how did you guys market it? And so in, in your sense, like I was a San Francisco tech guy at one point, And so I would, I'd be like, oh, this is biohacking, right? This is like, literally, we're going to put foods in our body that help us perform. So not fast food, which is going to cause me to nap, but something that's going to like help me lead my team, lead my company, and I'm not going to get tired. When you guys went to market, was there already like an established education of the market around coconut products? So it made it easier or did you have to, like, how did you market it at the beginning? Well, the good news is that no one else was doing the the whole coconut. That's the hard part too. So that was also the bad news. Yeah. Because people were not educated specifically on like coconut smoothies. Like a lot of people didn't know what a smoothie meant with coconut. It was a little bit ambiguous and kind of esoteric. And then also people would think that it's coconut water when they see the word coconut. So we would lose consumers that just never like coconut water when our product is so much more than that, which I'll go into later. It's another whole topic, which is the rebranding we did about a month ago with everything you see on the table here, where we're focusing more on the plant-based functional smoothie category and less just about coconut. But going back to your question, it was tough. And really where the rubber met the road was sampling. Because when someone drinks this product, you realize like, oh my God, like this is not coconut water. This is tasty. This makes me, it gives me energy, makes me feel good. So tastings like at Whole Foods, that was one of our first like national partners we launched in Southern California. Actually, one of our first stores was the West Hollywood one. Well, it's okay. right on Fairfax. Right it's around like two the corner. Blocks away. Yeah. I remember going in there and like selling it in by hand and like bringing in the first boxes and putting it on the shelf and all that before our distributor took over and started doing it for us. So education was really, really key. Sampling was really key. And just, you know, coming out with flavors, I think eventually was really, really important to not just be boxed in as just like, oh, it's better than coconut water. Because we want to get more than just the coconut water fan. We want to get anyone that wants a plant-based, healthy, organic smoothie. They want to feel great no added sugars, clean ingredients, and really filling and functional as well. So that's really the place that we've gone to now with our branding. When you launched, so 2014, we're talking about Twitter, Facebook, was social media a big part of your strategy in terms of educating and creating like a brand or less so? L less so, yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of like brands now, like call, you know, like maybe like the Dirty Lemons of the world and these edgy brands, they, they really rely on social media and D2C or, you know, uh, direct to consumer. Yeah. It's almost where they start. They'll start there. They start there. Yeah. Like, um, what's the other one that's at um, 7-Eleven, uh, Soylent? Yeah. yeah. So the protein drink. Yeah. yeah. Like they went completely online and then they shifted to retail. We went the traditional route because that's what I knew. Got it. You know, if I don't know something and I'm unfamiliar with it, you know, it's going to take time for me to learn it and get the right team. Sure. And I don't want to blow a bunch of money doing the wrong things. What I knew and what was easier for us was to pick up the phone and call a buyer and say, we'd love to meet with you. Here's our product, get a meeting and have it go to the store shelf. And that was the first way to bring exposure to the brand. But now, you know, with the pandemic, things have shifted, you know, like right. we're still retail, we're still gonna be majority retail, but there's been a lot of efficiencies done to make it easier to ship a perishable product. Cause this is perishable, it's fr like fresh product. 